welcome back to a new video here in Suave. A couple of days ago, um, somebody asked me how I can make a replicate or something. I, don't, I guess you could say replicate um, the video that you saw in the beginning. Um, and he linked a video by... Uh, I think it's Easy After Effects, if I'm not wrong. Let me just check it out in a second. Yeah, it's Easy After Effects. Shout out to them, I guess. Um, of how to make how to replicate that using DaVinci Resolve. So in my comment, as you can see there, I replied that we could do it with the polylines and stuff. So let me just show you right away how we can do that and we can obtain that pretty cool effect that was inspired or made first by the Apple, an Apple, I think it was a Apple commercial maybe, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, anyways, so let me just start right away. So we're gonna open a new fusion composition and it's not that complicated, but it can get messy because what I did last night, I tried to open again this morning and when dragging the fusion composition onto the timeline, for some reason, it would just get all crazy and I had to go back in and reconfigure it, everything again. So let's just start right away. So the first thing that we need to do is I added two merge nodes. And the first one, it's going to be the merge node that we're going to use for our path. So, and then the thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a, poly a polygon right here. And make sure that everything is transparent in the background. And we're going to create a line, which is going to be our path. So let me just do that and try to make it as straight as possible there. And then we can increase the border width a little bit. Oh, not that much like why is it going way too crazy I, I think that's fine for now I guess okay so once we have that we're pretty much set so we're gonna first create an animation for the length of that and for that we're gonna create a key from here and then we're gonna go let's go 10 frames Create a new one and then go back and make it zero. So that's what's gonna look like. And then also later on, you're gonna see that we're gonna have to animate that because our other circle, because that's showing right in the beginning, right? So what we can do is we can create a size keyframe right now already, and then we're gonna make it smaller like that. Now, for some reason you see that thing happening right there we don't want that to happen because um what we want to do is not animate the size i'm sorry that was my bad we're gonna animate the here the border width so we're gonna create a key from here and we're gonna go let's just go two frames and then go back to zero that's what's gonna do because otherwise it actually makes changing these makes the whole thing smaller Okay, so once we have our path ready, ready, the next step is to make sure we go right here and make sure that it's published. If it's not, it's gonna look uh, it's gonna look like white like this text, and then you just click it and it will publish it. All right. So um, the next thing that we need to do is we're gonna go and create a new background there, and we're gonna create an ellipse. We're going to make it small and we can go and make sure that it's right on top of the line to make, to just, just to check the size, I guess. And then after that, what we want to do is we want to connect these to the polygon. And the easy, the way to do this is we're going to go here where it says center. We're going to right click and we're going to click animate. Sometimes it will make you do path for some reason. It just goes crazy. But if we do animate, it's going to unlock this tab right here with the modifier section. Then here, we're going to go here and we're going to connect it to our polygon, the polyline. And that should, in theory, connect it to this path. But then what we need to do is we're going to go here, we're going to unmark this keyframe and we're gonna go here and we're gonna connect it again but to the length of our polygon so now when we go back to our polygon 
if we move this length, it should move both of them at the same time. And voila, we got it ready, all right? So then once you have that, that's pretty much it, right? But what we want to do also first is we're going to animate the, the ellipse. Why do I always say eclipse? I've been watching Avatar, maybe that's why. Uh, so yeah, and we're going to make it bigger. Like it's just going to look like the actual commercial like that. And then, although there's a little bit of time in between the start of the polygon animation. So we're gonna go here to our keyframe and we're gonna make sure that the actual length animation starts a little bit later, let's say 15, it's fine. And then on the animation also, we have the ellipse becoming smaller, right? So we're gonna see where the animation ends, which is 26. And at 26, it should be smaller, but before that, we want to make sure we have a little bit of time before it starts to become smaller. So we're going to go a couple of frames right there when the line is like that. We're going to create a new keyframe and then go back and then we're going to put it back to zero. So that's basically what's going to do the, the smaller, like becoming the thing becoming smaller. But it seems to be going, becoming smaller way too quick to my likeness. So we can play around with the, with here with this section and you can select everything and press F to make it a little bit more smooth I guess and you can basically just play around with this all these settings why it's sort of acting out weird right now like you see how it oh there it goes there's a few weird keyframe right here whoop not there so we're gonna delete that we don't want that there it goes that was the problem that is okay so once we have that the next step if we want to you can basically just do leave it as these and then you would just have to copy and paste it and then put it however you want and for that we're gonna make a transform node and then we can resize this and move it around without affecting anything uh, like in the animation and all that um, and in order to make a square for example you wanna you you can either copy and paste these four times but that's a little bit complicated because then later on rendering might take a little bit longer since the rendering it also it does the rendering like taking into account each node so the more nodes you have the more it might take uh, yeah so we're gonna add a duplicate here and on copies we're gonna press 4 and then here we're gonna choose 90 degrees and you'll see here it doesn't really look like a square yet, right? So we're in order to fix that, we're gonna play around with these pivot point. We can hold control to make it to move it a little bit less. And then that sort of looks like a square, I guess. So now when we look at it, it's gonna look like the one on the commercial or in the original video, right? One another thing that happens is that it starts to become big. And for that, we're going to add another transform node and we're going to animate the size and let's go 10 more frames. So we're going to do 25 to 35 and then we're going to increase the size however you want. And the actual commercial becomes really big, but if it, if it's way too fast, you want to go here to the spline editor. Let me just show only selected tool so we can play with only this one specifically. And we can press F and then we can move these. So it sort of like slows down at the beginning. So it starts to become sm sm um, bigger, but slower. And if it is too fast, you can always grab this one and then make it go 20 frames, I guess. And then that's gonna make it look a little bit smoother, but yeah. So then the next part, the last part was the actual shape sort of disappears, right? And in order to animate that, you can either go to the background and decrease the alpha, but that will only work if you're working with black. So the easiest way to do this would be to create a keyframe for the merge nodes right here, because here 
we can adjust the opacity of our the blending which basically is the opacity and that one the merge node only affects the top layer the one that's coming on top when you're playing with this part so we're gonna go here and we're gonna check when it starts to become bigger so we're gonna check this node and we want it to start becoming a little bit less um, more opaque from this frame 29 I guess so we're gonna go back to here to the merge node and we're gonna create a keyframe for that and then we're gonna go back to this one to see where it ends it ends at 44 so we're gonna try to make it transparent all the way opaque at 41 a little bit earlier than that and we're gonna create that keyframe for that making it go all the way to zero and then we're gonna select everything here in the spline tool whoops and we're gonna press F again you can also add motion blurs and all that stuff if you want uh, but I'm gonna leave that up to you but now let's just check how that transparency section becomes like that and you gotta make sure that your ellipse is going all the way back to zero when you're here because if it doesn't then it's gonna leave a little pixel there and we don't want that to happen because then when it becomes when everything else becomes transparent you're still gonna see that little dot there from that ellipse um, pixel that's left there behind and we don't want that yeah so that is pretty much it how you would obtain this effect if you want to do a different shape like a pentagon or something else you just gotta add more copies here and then you're gonna have to play with the angle and the position and it took me a little let me just tell you that to make it that hexagon thing that you've saw at the, that you saw at the beginning it actually took me quite a bit and i tried to do a pentagon and it was hard i couldn't even make it but in that case it might be easier to just copy and paste each line and try to make align them yourself and don't forget you can also make the path longer uh, as you see in the actual commercial i think this one actually goes two sides when it's doing the hexagon or pentagon pentagon i'm not sure what it was but yeah so then that is basically how you would do that let me just see if the error that i mentioned at the beginning that would it would go that the thing goes crazy when you import it into your timeline happens so if that happens i can show you how to fix that so let, let us just drag this this right here and it has to render a little bit and then yeah you see how that error that thing their dots got crazy and that's an error that happens i don't know why exactly so the way to, to fix that is we're gonna go here this might not happen if you create the fusion composition right on the timeline and start working from there but yeah so then we're gonna go here into this fusion composition and to fix that okay so as you saw it went a little bit crazy and all over the place and i'm not sure why that happens but i know how we can fix that if that happens to you hopefully it doesn't but if it does happen to you what you want to do is you're going to go back into your fusion composition and you're going to go to the center part and you're going to remove uh, the path that you had you can leave it there or you can go and set it to default i don't think it matters that much and then what you're going to do is you're going to click animate and then here we're going to go back here and we're going to take this out we're going to connect it to the polyline so we're on that path and now we should be moving along that path and then we're going to connect this one to the length the polygon one length value and when you do that it should fix it and it should look good how it should again and yeah that is how you fix it if you encounter that issue and i hope this tutorial was cool and that you enjoyed it and yeah i want to see you try this out if you want to do it and i hope that this one helps out and giving you ideas or anything else in the future so if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a like and let us don't let us know that in the comments what your thoughts are and yeah we love we'd love to hear from you so yeah hope to see you in the next video here in suave